So we're here to do a demonstration today of using our Electronics Plumbers Kit. We're going to actually show you some of the components right now, then we're going to go out in the field and we're going to show a demonstration on actually finding a leak in a residential slab. So in the Plumbers Kit, this is the heart of all of our kits. This is the LT1000, this is the amp. That's the deck plate for listening through, through uh, solid concrete. This is our soft-sided mic in order so you don't have to scratch cabinetry, drywall, etc. This is our most important tool. This is our probe. So it could be used with gas lines, with magnetic pickup, and it can also be used just as a sensor. And we're gonna demonstrate that today. Uh, most residential house leaks, or metal lines, shall I say, copper lines for the most part, um, the, the lines create sound throughout. But when they don't, we're gonna just show you how to use a pressure rig with air. Um, that has water already in the line so that we can make a different type of noise. It's a boiling type sound. So we're going to introduce all the sounds and we're going to do a demonstration so that you guys can see everything. So right now you're looking at a meter that's spinning. That meter is spinning obviously because we're losing water because everything is shut off in the house. Now we have a shut off over at the house. When we shut that shut off off, which we did already, it, it stopped the meter from moving, which means that the leak is beyond that shutoff. So what we're gonna do, uh, if it didn't stop moving after we shut that off, we would know that we have a leak between this meter and the shutoff that's over at the house. But now that we know that we have a leak under the slab, we're gonna do a couple of more isolating issues and then we're gonna break out our equipment. So another method that we have is being able to shut the hot water, there's a valve up there, and if we can shut the hot water down to the house and then we do our meter check, if, we, if it stops after we shut the hot water down, then we know we have a leak on the hot water side. Um, the equipment, it doesn't make much of a difference because we're going to be checking cold and hot, but it just gives you an idea of how to isolate. Another thing that you have to do is we have a recirc pump on this particular house. Um, this keeps that hot water moving so that the showers warm up fast. This is always gonna keep a flow going through that pipe, a recirculation flow. So it always has to be unplugged. You're trying to get everything quiet and you're gonna only be listening under the pressure from the street. And we're gonna demonstrate that now. So the first tool that we're gonna break out is our soil probe or our sensor mic. Um, you could use this in soil under uh, dirt conditions and you could use it metal to metal. And what it does is it has an extension on. What we normally do is we walk the perimeter of a house before we even go inside. When we know we have a leak and we did everything that we showed you with the meter, now we're gonna go start walking the house and we're going to uh, be touching everything, including irrigation lines, we're gonna be touching if it has a well system, if it has a sub meter, it doesn't matter. As long as it, it's metal and it's stubbing up, we're gonna to touch and we're gonna to listen to it. And what we're listening for right now is the pressure from the street creating a leak and that leak is gonna to travel to the closest pipe that we could possibly touch it to. And we're gonna show you that now. This is a sprinkler system, irrigation system. We have hose spigots, and we're gonna go around and we're gonna to be touching everything that could possibly carry water that's stubbing out of the ground. We have a copper pipe right here. We're gonna to be touching irrigation, we're gonna to be touching spigots, hose bibs, pool autofills, or anything else that could be stubbing out of the ground that might tie into the home system. Now um, that we listened with our long extension, all around the perimeter, we're gonna start listening um, from going inside the house. We're gonna start with the hot water heater, but we don't need this long extension anymore. It's too big and bulky. You could scratch walls or scratch floors with it. So we're just gonna hook up um, our smaller probe when we do the interior, and we're gonna show you um, how we do that now. So on the interior, we listen at washer and dryer stub ups, both hot and cold. We listen under laundry sinks or garage sinks if they might have them. We listen under wet bars, both hot and cold. We listen under bathroom vanities, again, hot and cold. We listen at toilet stub ups or any other port of entry where water might come into the house. So we found the leak. Um, we're hearing it on the cold side of our system. And now we're gonna introduce the sound. That's the actual sound of the leak underground, but what we're also gonna do is we're gonna use our soft-sided mic, and we're gonna to listen to all the other areas, and this way we're not gonna scratch any of the cabinetry. And we could also use our deck plate to listen around the island to make sure that we're not getting false positives. 
So using the soft-sided mic, we're able to hear a much fainter sound than we do when we're listening metal to metal, but we're able to cover a lot of area and without scratching cabinetry. So now that we've listened and we know that we're under the actual island on the cold water side, what we're going to be doing, we like to use our hard deck listening plate so we can listen through the slab to uh, isolate everything and to make sure that everything is within that range. And we're going to do so by walking this whole entire um, island doing it about 12 inch intervals um, to make sure that again everything is isolated and contained within that island. So now that uh, we heard what we heard with this, just through the metallic line inside the house using our probe and our listening probe, what I like to do is back ourselves up. Um, and by doing that, what we do is we take our, our pressure rig, we don't do any water, we shut everything down from the street so now we just have static line that's in the pipe. And what I like to do is hook up a pancake compressor. We have this valve that controls it. And instead of being invasive and cutting pipes, we try to get to a spigot which is nearest where we're thinking we're hearing what we are. So this spigot kind of comes through. The kitchen is on the other side. And what we're going to do is as I'm injecting air, we're going to introduce the sound that we're hearing um, with our equipment from actually underneath the island where we found it. So again, we're going to be doing short pulses of air from here. That's mixing it the water. It's going out and it's a totally different sound. It's more of a boil sound than a leak, than a, a metal pipe leak sound like you just heard in that other um, example. So now that we heard that boil, which we like to do, we always like to back ourselves up. I'm 100% positive that our leak is down underneath here. Um, anyway, anytime we have to make a plumber's loop or repair, we always have to cut a two by two. We might just get away without having to tear out the cabinets on this job. This is a laminate floor, so we might not have to be as destructive as possible. But we'll write up the leak detection report, we'll put the estimate together, and then it's up to customer. Um, whether they want to proceed. I mean, at this point, they're going to have to do something, but um, this is exactly how to find a leak using some of the equipment. And there'll be a lot more videos to come.